Good morning, kid. You know. Boy Finance B here back with another brand new video today. We're doing another custom build, and I don't think you guys get the idea of this, okay? These are actually for sale. You do you know that, right? Podtrappers.com, code Buddha saves 5% off. We also have brand new merchandise. We got camo hats, black hats, white hats, and another black hat. To fucking buy them. Now! No! How many of these do you think I can put on? You remember that time in that group chat where I put on like 26 hats? <laughs> Casually. Stash. Right. Let's go pick some parts. So, I think we're gonna start off with uh, a complete. We started with the Fusion Complete last time and we don't have enough time today to do what I really wanna do to the Mad Gear Complete. We're not gonna start with this today, we're gonna leave that for a later video because I got something very important to do later on, okay? But I can't tell you much about that. What we are gonna do is we're gonna break down yet another Fusion Complete and we're gonna make this nice and saucy. You see what this- you see this? If you guys watched my ride around versus not ride around video, this is what I'm fucking talking about, bro. This clamp is done up for days, okay? Do you know how hard I tighten this? Really fucking hard. Okay, and I can literally just... Why are you doing this? This? This is a quality corporate-owned complete. So we're gonna soup this thing up, alright? Rice it! Now, we need some aftermarket parts. As we do, we'll grab a clamp. What have we got? We need a double clamp because we're gonna stick with the same compression system. I'm thinking uh, H5G clamp. I think this will do very nicely. It has the shim so we can fit it to any size of bar, which is what we like. Let me just pocket that. I'm gonna break my golden rule here. Usually I always have my fork and my clamping and matching colors, but since we don't have any chrome forks in stock, I'm just gonna pick a black one. Now this is a fusion fork from the upgraded model that we actually took apart the other week, but it's actually gonna make a massive improvement on this scooter because as you can see, this fork right here, it just doesn't look all that great. You know what I mean? It's gloss white. Look at how thin these fucking things are. Look at the prongs. They're so thin. This has a lot more weight to it, a lot more beef, a lot more strength. And it's just a much better looking fork. Right, we have the fork. We have the clamp. What is next? The wheels. Oh, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use these. John Reyes signature Anvi wheels. Oh. Compatibility. Now this right here. This fits 120s. A little bit too much. <laughs> okay, what else do we need? We need a set of grips. Look at that. Those will do. Okay, let's get started. So we're dealing with the RHC compression as the standard on the Fusion Complete. It has a five mil Allen head, which we're just gonna undo. Kind of like that noise a little bit. I really like the clear urethane that everyone's doing. Oh, but I don't like the not auto lock. 
I have to use two tools, man. This bothers me a lot. Get boxed in. Fusion just posted. Well, it wasn't Fusion. I think it was Tyler Chef, and he just posted a clip the other day where he's finally writing a boxed ended Fusion deck. Can you believe that? A miracle. The work of the gods. They better have an auto lock system, man, because I don't like using a ratchet. It's ratchet. I do like the clear urethane though, it is pretty wild. Back in the day it was always like clear yaks, you can like blue and orange and green and they were all see-through and they were freaking cool man. Let's swap all the hardware on it, I think the headset bearing is still sitting in there, it is. Let me just slap that thing in there. Cap. Oh, Houston, we have a problem. This fork does not have the same compression! It's from the same company! We've had conversations about this, haven't we? We've had many conversations about this. <laughs> just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Dude, like seriously, I try so hard not to get real tickled by that kind of thing. But like, seriously? Picture this hypothetical situation, which I'm sure has happened to someone. Kid has fusion complete. Kid really likes fusion. Tyler Chapman, he's my favorite brother! So he goes to buy an aftermarket fusion fork and comes home to realize, I can't fucking use that. <laughs> I know we don't have a workaround for this because I know we don't have a cap that's gonna fit inside a bar because that's the next problem. You need the cap to fit inside the bar, right? And then it's gotta also be perfectly flush with this. We ain't got that shit! What if we run it upside down and put a bolt through it? <laughs> if this was my scooter and that's what had to be done to make it rideable, that's what I would do. I would flip that bitch upside down drill out the Allen key head, and only be able to use a monkey wrench to tighten that shit up. But we're not gonna do that! What am I, a Neanderthal? What am I, a caveman? I kinda look like one low key, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Now we do have to disassemble this bad boy. And we have to change the wheels. To what? <laughs> oh my god! You're fucking kidding me! This is everyone at home dealing with compatibility issues! Okay, maybe with a shred of luck, these will actually fit. Okay, okay, we're in business, but there's a little bit of a... <laughs> huh, interesting. <laughs> or should I say typical? Go in and don't give me any problems. I know you really wanna give me problems, but I really just, I would not advise it. Cause I'm about to get very, very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Holy shit. I can handle this. It's okay, Brad. Just build the scooter. Overcome and adapt. It's what you always say. I think I've said that in every single custom build we've done. Let's put six mil head bolts on the axles and then let's put a five mil bolt head on the compression, because that makes sense. Then we have to produce and sell two different Allen keys with the box. And you know, we're just giving out useless free shit instead of thinking, hmm, maybe we should make everything on the scooter the same fucking size. Excuse me, what that, uh, uh. Is this not the best custom build you've ever seen? God, what if I put the fucking wheel in here and it doesn't fit? <laughs> it's all over the brake. Yes. Manipulation. Ah. You know how the Vault is always doing custom builds, right? They do custom builds like, what, all the time? Mm. And I done custom builds there, homie, and we do this exact same thing. I'll be up there like, bro, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, and they cut it. Why do they cut it? Encourage companies to make compatible parts. It's not cool. Stop being greedy. Oh, we only want people to buy aftermarket parts from our brand. Well, I just showed you an example of the fucking aftermarket parts from even the same brand don't bloody work, mate. It's just not on, mate. I'm just keeping it straight with you guys, man. Uh... Look at this cat, man. She's like, what the fuck? Buy this at parttrappers.com and get signature Scooter Brad DNA. <laughs> What's this thing not work? Oh, it does. Wow. Should we regrip? Yeah. I love grip. Tape that comes on a complete. Oh, it's so easy to remove. And when you remove the grip tape, there's no such thing as residue. Just kidding, there's fucking heaps. Now my grip's gonna stick twice as well. 
Brad's hand's actually stuck to the other side of the deck now. So. <laughs> I actually wonder, like, if I pressed my hand hard enough on the top of it, if I could just, like, lift up the whole deck based on how sticky it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Spider-Man, dude. <sighs> God. Oh my God, look at it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if any hair came off, but look. Oh, it actually did! <laughs> so, if you want to clone Brad, you're getting it all on this one. Suck my bed. Might we wait? Hello, friend. Will you be my friend? No. Good dog. Oh, <laughs> This is the shit that they ship you, bro, in the box. Hey. Yeah, don't laugh at it. This is the <laughs> if the companies think that this is a good enough tool to ship you, <laughs> mate, don't argue, bro. I'm so very confused. Those companies need to watch these videos, man, <laughs> just to see how actually difficult it is to upgrade their stuff. I am like an extremely experienced scooter builder and scooter modifier, okay? Imagine a, ch a child who this is their first scooter and they got no idea how to do any of this stuff, right? It's so freaking difficult. So here we have it. It is our brand new Fusion X, NVX, Six Bones, Hang 5 Gear, and Flavor. All right, there's hella brands on this thing, okay? It looks bloody good. I will say that. It was a bitch to put together, and I will say that. Ah! Here we go. Here's the fun part. If you would like to purchase this scooter, you know where to find it, partrappers.com. Use code BUDDHA to save 5%. Everything is working, none of the wheels rub. As you can see, we fixed that. We fixed the fork, we got the clamp on, everything is good. Brand new grip tape that is far higher quality. A nice black, white, and chrome color scheme. Usually I like these two parts matching, but as explained earlier, we don't have any chrome forks in stock. And uh, yeah, that is our scooter for today. So purchase it now. Right now. That's been it for me. It's been your boy Finesse B, and I will see you guys in the next one. And hopefully, the next build is a lot easier than this one, man. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Later. Jeez. All around me are familiar faces. I'm actually getting quite wet. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Chapman. He's my favorite brother! God, that was fucking. Excuse me. What did. Uh, uh. Yeah, we're not gonna half-ass this, All right? We've come this far. We tried so hard. Why is my ratchet not working? Oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck? Oh, oh, hmm? Oh, you do. Get the f fuck off, no. Envy scooters, wheel doesn't fit all the way in. <laughs> Envy wheels. Solid. <laughs> They've become so used to it themselves, they're like, you know what, let's just make it not fit. <laughs>